What's going on Dragon Ball Z fans, I'm Good Entertainment Gaming here today bringing you some groundbreaking news, information, and updates surrounding the upcoming 2015 Dragon Ball Z movie entitled Frieza's Resurrection. Ladies and gentlemen, as of today, the official Dragon Ball Z 2015 movie trailer is already out, and ladies and gentlemen, everything we've wanted to see is finally here. Now, to break this trailer down real quick, as you guys can already see, Frieza is back, and what it looks like Frieza is actually coming back, and he actually looks to be more cocky than ever before. Of course, we actually get to see Frieza stepping out of some sort of pod in which has like some green water, some green ooze, you know, dripping off of his feet, dripping off of his tail and whatnot. And then later on, we get to see Frieza in his first form, of course, with his purple aura everywhere, and we finally get to see some sort of red lightning surround him. Uh, we have Vegeta and Goku standing next to Whis. And uh, somebody or something looks to be either powering up or, you know, just uh, unleashing their full power because Goku and Vegeta are, like, blocking off. They're like, what the hell is going on? So many things showcased in this trailer. Of course, Goku and Vegeta have new outfits. And, of course, the best part of this was... Frieza actually was powering up to look like a where he was going to transform while in his final form. Now again, I do want to say that the picture that was showcased a couple of weeks ago was a fan-made picture, but a lot of people are going into this film speculating how exactly is Frieza, somebody who's weaker than a Super Saiyan, supposed to combat Goku, Vegeta, or possibly Whis and Beerus. Of course, Beerus was not shown in this trailer, but other things were shown as well. Now one thing that really bothered me, did anybody else notice who watched the trailer why in the hell is Gohan a Super Saiyan wasn't it foretold that he never needed to use the form because he was that powerful in his base form that he never needed to ascend to a Super Saiyan not saying that it's not logical but we actually get to see you know uh, Gohan Piccolo a bald-headed Krillin even fucking Yamcha Master Roshi engage in Frieza's massive army now when I say massive army I do mean that Frieza is actually on earth with his entire army now I made a video a while back talking about the speculation and the possible return of planet Vegeta even though planet Vegeta is not coming back in this film it looks like Frieza's entire army is going to be back because we get to see hundreds upon thousands of these soldiers flying in the sky it looks like an invasion Piccolo, Master Roshi, Yamcha, Tien, Krillin, possibly Gotenks are all trying to fight off all of these armies um, that are, you know, emerging from Frieza's ship, from Frieza's, you know, dimension or whatnot. Uh, meanwhile, we have Goku and Vegeta who look to be battling Frieza. And of course, uh, there were specific scenes shown where uh, Final Form Frieza was, was actually fighting base form Goku. And, um... Final Form Frieza wasn't actually getting any hits on him. If you actually go back and you watch the trailer, you know, Goku, you know, missed a couple of elbows, so did Frieza. So, my question is, how exactly is Frieza supposed to combat Goku on this level? Of course, now going back to what I said about Frieza powering up, there was a very, very short and brief scene showcasing Frieza in his final form looking to power up. Either he becomes a god or somehow he actually finds another form, a fifth power. Could he actually have found a Nova level? Could he have actually found a God level? D this is all fact, everybody. Go watch the trailer. Of course, I'm only speculating as of right now, but I am also just showing you and telling you, you know, what exactly happened in this trailer. And anything can happen, everybody. April 18th, 2015. Mark it down on your calendar. If anybody plans on going to Japan during that time frame, you are going to be the luckiest person on this planet to witness a movie like that. Of course, unless they don't actually bootleg the movie in which case a lot of people do that these days but nonetheless everybody it was shown Frieza looked like he was actually emerging from some sort of a pod um, there was something shown with Whis, Go uh, Vegeta and Goku where there was something happening in the distance and Go Goku and Vegeta were actually blocking their faces they were like what the fuck is going on there was one scene showed uh, where Vegeta looked like, like Vegeta looked very very scared there was one moment in uh, in the trailer where Vegeta actually like was like, holy shit, what the hell? But nevertheless, it looks like this is going to go down as follows. It's going to be Goku versus Frieza. It's going to be the Z Fighters versus Frieza's army. And something's going to happen with Beerus, Whis, and Vegeta. Because we never saw Vegeta fight Frieza. We never saw Beerus in the trailer, so he's not fighting Frieza. Whis, if he steps in the mix, I believe he would slaughter Frieza. So what exactly is Frieza hiding? He comes back. 
back, we see him in his first form, we see him in his final form, and then we see something that we've never seen before, and that's Frieza actually powering up, you see the veins on his head, and then something happens and we don't get to see it, so be that as it may, what do you guys think is going to happen? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you guys saw the trailer, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions. Who do you guys think is going to stop Frieza? Is it going to be Vegeta? Is it going to be Goku? Is it going to be Beerus? Is it going to be Whis? Do you guys think Frieza is going to kill anybody? That is a very... Uh, you know, formidable question to ask because you never know. I mean, Frieza killed many people before, so what makes you think he won't kill somebody off in this film? Perhaps maybe somehow he's gonna kill off Beerus? Probably not, but what, what about uh, any of the other fighters? Perhaps maybe Goten? Or maybe Trunks? Or maybe he tries to kill off Gohan? Vegeta? Who knows? Let me know in the comment section below, everybody. Thank you all for watching once again. If you guys are excited about this, if you guys saw the trailer, don't forget to hit this video up with a like and a favorite. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. I hope you all subscribe for more because there is a lot more news, information, and updates headed your way. If you guys are haters, if you guys hate Dragon Ball Z, if you guys hate me, all I can say to that is you can go fuck yourself. It is what it is. I'm excited. This movie is going to be awesome. 2015 is lining up to be a great year for movies. We have Star Wars Episode 7. We have Independence Day. We have The Avengers 2. We have Paranormal Activity, The Ghost Dimension. We have Fast and Furious 7. And now we have Dragon Ball Z 2015. What a way to kick off the year. April 18th, everybody stay tuned for more. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think because anything can go right now. As you guys saw, if you saw the trailer, go on, go on ahead and check it out. Um, but thank you all for watching once again, everybody. Stay tuned for more because if you guys thought it's over, you have another thing coming. So as I said, everybody, thank you all for watching. God bless you all. For Dragon Ball Z, everybody, you all made this happen. Remember that. It's not because of anybody else. You guys made your voices heard. You guys were the one that demanded it. And of course, over the last couple of years, we all made Dragon Ball Z popular. If it wasn't for the Dragon Ball Z community, Dragon Ball Z right now would be down in the dumps like where it was before um, during that time period after GT. Of course... Uh, we don't know exactly how far along the lines this is uh, during Dragon Ball Z. Could this be before the World Martial Arts Tournament? Before the World Martial Arts Tournament? Is Oob going to be in the film or Pan? Wait and find out, everybody. Let's. We have we have a lot more actually headed our way. Akira Toriyama is finally breaking the ice. Merry Christmas to us, right? All right, everybody. Take it easy, and I'll be seeing you all later. For Vegeta, everybody. Let's hope he kills Frieza. Peace.